What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are showcasing a Pokemon that I don't think I used in Scarlet and Violet. I could be wrong. I made a ton of videos, but we are rocking out with Miss Magius in ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Miss Magius, this Pokemon is actually a huge threat on the special attacking side. It's Rock and Levitate as ability with the Focus Ash as item. Obviously, it is a pure ghost type with the ghost terror type to boost the damage output. And then it's got Icy Wind for speed control, Parish Song, which is a great move, especially late game. And then you got Shadow Ball and Shadow Sneak. So should be a fun Pokemon. Super excited to be showcasing this pokemon we got metagross on today's team as well metagross is an all-time favorite of mine just such a dope pokemon and it is really powerful in this format considering it has psychic fang so if we're dealing with like a grim snarl or an aurora veil nine tails psychic fang is going to be a perfect move to actually take away those screens for the opposing team metagross has clear body with the weakness policy to be paired up with brigaraf and bulldoze and then it's got stellar terror type with protect psychic fang earthquake and iron head our final four Pokemon, pretty much part of the meta. You have Ferrigraph, Sneasler, Primarina, and Rillaboom. Rillaboom and Sneasler go together because, you know, terrain, grassy siege, Sneasler goes crazy. You guys see that a lot. And then you got Ferrigraph and Primarina. Primarina is a great special attacker. Ferrigraph is a perfect support Pokemon with Imprisoned Trick Room. And like I already mentioned, Bulldoze to proc that weakness policy on Metagross. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? But the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Miss Magius in ranked regulation age. First match on its way, and this one could honestly get tough. Dantoso Tatsugiri, always a big time problem, especially in this format. They also have Glamora, which could be Power or Meteor Beam Glamora. Then they got Sylveon and Didi, and on top of that, Armour. So they could go in with like the Trick Room side of things. They also don't have to. It's kind of half and half. I could honestly just like lead for Regrep and Metagross. That could be pretty good for us. And that is something I do want to do. And I honestly really like Miss Magius here because say Don Dozo is kind of in there for the late game. We can kind of just set up a Parasong or I could lead that. And if they want to go into Don Dozo and Tatsugiri, we could just, just Parasong away. I think we'll just use it in as a back end. Now, our final Pokemon, I'm thinking, or I'm leaning towards at least Prima Arena here with Calm Mind, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast. That could be really good. Also, it has Protect, which could also come in clutch for Miss Magius if we are sending a Parasong. But I guess we'll see how this one plays out here. I guess we'll see, because I wouldn't mind just going for a Bulldoze turn one with for Graph, popping that weakness policy and having Metagross just do some nice damage all around. And kind of just play off of that. But again, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. We'll see, because Tantozo gets so annoying. It really does. It's just such a strong Pokemon. It really is. It's so bulky. It's tough to get off the field. They're going to end up leading in DD and Armors, which... Honestly, isn't bad. It's not bad. I mean, the thing is, are they going to outspeed my Metagross? That's the real question. Actually, Frigoraf, we need you to go first. First combo to work. 92, 91. You do outspeed Frigoraf, but it seems like Armors might even outspeed you guys. I'm going to hope not. I'm going to hope not. We're going straight for the Bulldoze. We're going to pop Weakness Policy. We're going to clear body. We're going to slow down their speed. And honestly, I really just don't mind popping EQ at the same time. Weakness policy EQ, and they can go for follow me, so there is that option too. Yep, there's that. So, good call on RN. Hopefully, Armor's just trying to, like, at least go for a Trick Room here. And then you're going to go for Heat Room. Can you soak that Metagross? You do. That's big time news for you. Could because Weakness Policy not only pops, but that leaves us with enough HP for Bulldoze to actually not KO our own Metagross. That's fine. Bulldoze is going to launch Metagross. You should soak this. Thank you. I was going to be so upset <laughs> if I KO'd my own Metagross. That would have been so rough. It really would have. But speed's gonna drop, which allows us to actually outspeed next turn as well. And EQ's gonna launch and get rid of that Armourouge, which is massive. So Armourouge gone, we do a lot of damage to our Frigraph as well. But again, not sitting in a bad position. I'm able to eat up a Citrus Berry. Hopefully the next Pokemon that they throw out is slower than Metagross. I don't know if it is going to be. I doubt it. And we'll see who it is. It might be Don Dozo. See what you got here. It's gonna be Don Dozo. Right now, Don Dozo is slower. Right now, Don Dizzy is slower. So I mean, I might as well just go for this Hyper Voice. I could honestly go for a. I could honestly go into a Trick Room, but you're fast, Miss Magius. I really don't want to. Really don't want to take away from that. So I'm just gonna go Hyper Voice, and do I just go EQ again? I think I just launched a Psychic Fang. You could swap in. I could protect. I'm going to protect you, Metagross. 
I feel like there's a hot shot of you swapping it in DD. Which you don't. I was going to say, you could swap in DD and attack the Metagross. Is it going to be a follow me play? Not a follow me play. So follow me is going to launch out here. And those are what you got cooking for us. We're going to be able to do some nice little chip damage here. And he's going to go for eight. That's something we don't like. That is something we don't like. A nice big time substitute popping out from him. The substitute leftovers flying. Um, we could swap. I don't know if he's going to swap yet. But I mean, if that's the case, we're just going to drop Psychic Fangs. We're going to go into another Hyper Voice. They could go for one more follow me and just let Indeedee die out here. But the thing is, we really want Indeedee to die out. Because I want to come in here and pop a Parasong and have them not be able to swap. Even though they can if they go into Tatsugiri. That's really where I'm at. We ends up withdrawing. This is what's happening here. Let's see what he's going to do here. So Tatsugiri comes out here. He's probably outspeeding us now. He probably wants to get rid of my Metagross. But again, Parasong could be real clutch for us. Could be real clutch for us. So let's see. What you got here, Don Dozo? You might be rocking EQ. I'm going to go for an order up into Metagross. Into Metagross. So Metagross, gone. See you later, Metagross. Thanks for playing. So there's that. Um, you get a crit. Does Parasong work through... It should work through Substitute, correct? That's got to be a correct statement. That has got to be a correct statement. So we're dealing some damage here. And actually, Hyper Voice actually hits through Substitute, which is kind of weird. Definitely kind of weird. But yeah, now we're just going to go into Miss Maggie. So we can just kind of sub up. Or not sub up, Parasong. Right? This got to go through Protect. This has got to go through Protect. And honestly, I might just pop a Trick Room. This will be out speed. I got Levitate, so I could just Bulldoze. Hmm. I mean, that's the thing. Like, Miss Maggie's already out speed. So we're just going to launch another Hyper Voice. We're going to go for a Parasong. Alright, let's set it up. Parish Song coming out here. We do out speed, which is beautiful. Now all we gotta do is waste out some turns. All we gotta do is waste out some turns. So Order Up comes out here. Tatsugiri does dodge it, which is kind of crazy. And I wonder if the sub bypasses it. It kind of, it might. It honestly might. This could get real ugly if it does. Let's see, because it will say that their turns are counting. Let's see, because we, we really need this. We really need this. Miss Magius' Parish counts. Don Dozo's goes down. Okay, cool. One for graphs. All right, so Don Dozo's there. Um, I think from here, we're just going to protect Miss Magius, because it seems like he wants to KO that. So I'm just going to keep Hyper Voice in a way. And oh, I don't have Protect for, on you. And if you're going for an order up, It'd be nice to swap into Primarina here. It'd be really nice to swap into Primarina just to waste out a turn. Because right now, Dantozo cannot swap. It cannot swap. So Primarina's going to come out here. We're hoping it order up supply in here. And it is going into the slot, which really sucks. That really sucks. I want to waste out an extra turn. So there's that. Miss Maggie is chilling on the field. Um, I got Protect ready for Primarina. And we're just slowly basing out turns. Honestly, Premier Arena can potentially win this match, which is really good. Really good. Um, I think I'm going to wait one more turn to protect with Premier Arena. Because there is a chance that they do not attack my Premier Arena this turn. So, I mean, we might as well just launch like a Shadow Ball. Can't really do much with, with you. We're just going to Shadow Ball away. And... I am also going to... Do I Combine or do I Moonblast? I think I'm going to Combine boost here. Just get the stat boost because like damage output isn't really going to do much for us. So I'm just going to start boosting our stats, especially because they have special attackers out out after Dondozo. So I mean, Combine is definitely a play. And yeah, you're going to order up the Miss Magus, which is totally fine. So I'm going to start Combine boosting. And I'm just going to protect next turn get rid of the Dondozo. They go from there. I mean, they could swap Don Dozo. Actually, no, you can't swap Don Dozo. You cannot swap Don Dozo. So we're going to combine boost here. Playing it slow. Miss Magius did his job. 
definitely did its job with that parasol. And then we're just going to, again, just protect here. Let that die out and make this turn into a 2v1 situation. And we both still have Terra, don't we? We both still have Terra. That Terra steel if I really want to use it. But from here, again, simple protect. So we got the combine boost, special defense, special attack boost. Let's finish off Don Dozo. I knew Parasol would come up clutch. It's so far so good. We know they still have Indeedy. Their Tatsugiri is going to come out here. Indeedy seems rather supporty, right? It's just like follow me away. And from here, I mean, we might as well just rip a Moonblast into Tatsugiri the next turn. The question is, do I want to Terrastalize? I mean, I got Steel Terra. I'm trying to think of the moves that Tatsugiri could have. Dragon move, like Draco Meteor, which won't affect this, which is good. Water move. Primarine's typing's fine. I really don't see us needing to Terrastalize here. I really don't see it. So, Indeedee comes out here. I could just go for a Hyper Voice. Or I could go for a Moonblast. I mean, Hyper Voice isn't bad. And what item do you have? Do you have Throat Spray? You have Leftovers. All right. Um... I'm just going to hyper -voice. I'm just going to make life simple. There's a chance that Tetsugiri could Terrasalize here, too. And yeah, that, that Parasong really helped us out tremendously, because that Don Dozo was chilling. I seen that thing pop the substitute. I was like, oh, no. This is getting ugly real quick. We got to get the Parasong off. And luckily, Parasong works through substitute. We really need that. So I honestly never Parasong anything behind substitute. So I was curious if it would work or not. And it did, which is dope. So out comes a Terror type from... Most likely Tatsugiri. You could be Storm Drain, but Storm Drain... Hyper Actually, no, you can't be Storm Drain. You're Commander. But he's going to go into the Steel Terror. I think we're launching a Moon Blast. But luckily, we're launching this Hyper Voice. So Hyper Voice works fine here. We're plus one on Special Attack. We're going for Helping Hand, which is a, a really smart play. You have Terror Blast? Please don't tell me you have Terror Blast. All right, you're just rocking Muddy Water. And I'm dodging it. <laughs> and I'm dodging it. So that goes to nothing. Hyper Voice launches, does phenomenal damage. Halfing up to Tatsugiri. KO into Indeedee, and everything working out perfectly. I knew Primarina would be a great last Pokemon. Same thing with Miss Magius. And match number one, going strong for us. Going strong. We'll click Hyper Voice one last time. He's going to go for Muddy Water. This is going to do about negative six. Actually did a lot more than I thought. That could be a choice spec. Oh, nope. It was just a crit. Makes a lot of sense now. Hyper Voice launches. GG's. Match number one, going to your boy. Match number two coming at you guys. Your boy is sitting 1-0 with Miss Magius. Would love to use it a little bit more here. We're going up against a Rillaboom Sneasler team. Alongside with Wimscott, Mousehold, Gastron, and his Suing Typhlosion. So they could rock out with Wimscott and Suing Typhlosion and pop like a sunny day. And start erupting or even Tailwind Eruption. So a few different options. We could just go into Frigograph and look to pop a Tailwind. Or not Tailwind, a Trick Room instead. And that could work really well for the squad. I mean, Miss Magus and Sneasel is like really the only two that are like super fast here. I don't really know how I want to play this one. Hmm. I could just go into my Sneasel and Real Room. That would be the safe play. And I think I am going to end up doing that. It just seems simple, smart, perfect. And then we can bring Miss Magus and do we go Metagross or do we go in with like Primarina? If we go into Primarina. We're going to have to watch out for. Storm Drain Gash down, but I think we should be fine off of that. Um, Metagross isn't bad. I mean, Metagross is actually really good up against everybody except for this type of illusion. And maybe the Sneasel if it's rocking close combat, but I'm going to end up going into Metagross. Hopefully no Hitsuin type of that could get That could get real out of hand, especially if it's Choice Scarfed. Oh no, that thing's Choice Scarfed. We're in some trouble. We are in some trouble. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see. We're just going to hope that they don't lead Wimscott and Typhlosion. But every time I say something like that, it happens. So we'll probably see Typhlosion and Wimscott out here for match number two. Let's check it out. No, it's going to be Sneasel Rillaboom. So cool. We're going Sneasel Rillaboom times two. Doubling it up. And they're on the same side. And their Pokemon are shiny and mine aren't. So we're rooting for the non-shiny Pokemon. We're on the non-shiny side. So let's see who's faster. Whose seeds are popping first? Man, come on. <laughs> So their Sneasler is faster. Um, I think their Rillaboom's faster. I don't know whose Rillaboom terrain went out. Oh, do they have double speed on me here? Let's get that hand. This, yeah, yeah, they definitely have double speed on me. Yeah, you are not maxed out. All right. So he's going to fake out my Rillaboom. We already know that. We already know he's going to fake out Rillaboom. I could go into Miss Magus here. Not too shabby, just so I can Icy Wind. 
a little bit later. And I can dodge that fake out. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to protect Sneasel here. A little bit of protect on the Sneezy. So I get my Psychic Seeds popping. We'll protect the Sneasler. And we'll see how this one plays out. You could be going for Dire Call into Miss Magius. You could definitely be doing that. But I think you're mostly going for Fake Out into that slot. And maybe just attacking a Sneasler. Yeah, there's Fake Out. Or you're going Fake Out into Sneasler. Alright. And there's Dire Call into that slot. So Miss Magius soaking up pretty well. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Why? Why? You could you could have burned me. You could have paralyzed me. But put me to sleep? Come on. <laughs> Always hurts everything. Hurts the soul. So from here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna die recall. And Acrobat's gonna launch from Sneasler. And we're gonna actually soak it, which is great news. Die recall is gonna outspeed and pick up. Mm, can you kind of put you to sleep? Can I put you no, nothing? I don't get anything. I don't get anything. I simply don't get anything. He's gonna go for a knockoff and now my Miss Maggie's dead. Oh my lord, I hate this game. Oh my lord. This game? Terrible. So bad. So bad. Just the worst. Just the absolute worst. Um, I could go Metagross here, but that is not the We're gonna go back into Rillaboom. Um I could fake out, I could grassy glide. Um I might just fake out the sneeze and let Rillaboom do its thing. Yeah, I'm gonna double down the Sneasler. Hmm. I might just attack this Rillaboom. I mean, my moves suck up against this Sneasler. Yeah, let's just look to get rid of Rillaboom. He could Grassy Glide here. I think that's gonna fly in this slot. Do a little bit of damage. Is he gonna go for Grassy Glide? That's the real question. He does not, so we get rid of Rillaboom. That's nice. Sneasler's just staring me in the face, looking real ugly. Looking like a problem. So we're able to make it flinch. Um, we know it doesn't have focus hatch, which is good because it's already grassy seeded up. We still have Metagross. Miss Maggie is going to sleep, which is, oh man. That was real ugly for us. That could have been a huge icy wind turn. But Gastron's going to launch. We know Gastron's going to either protect or terrestrialize. We already know that's happening. So if us going into fire is probably our best play. And maybe just going for a knockoff here. I mean, our damage output is so low up against the Sneasler. We're just going to go for Woodhammer instead. So I'm going to Woodhammer that slot, and if I can, I mean, we might as well double down with Dire Claw. We'll do more damage. They actually do the same. I'd rather just go for Dire Claw, maybe get a get a chance at stat, stat levering. Let's do this. Terrestrialize the Real Boom. Nice little fire type. I know that Gastron's a water type, but a lot of them do not rock a water move. For the most part, it's usually like Earth Power. I mean, Earth Power will now be super effective, but like Earth Power, Icy Beam, Icy Beam, Ice Beam. Alongside with like Dawn and Protect. But he ends up just Bro, come on with this. It's getting out of hand at this point. It really is. Dire Claw launches. Can I get one? Please? No, I don't get any RNG here. Nothing. No RNG. No RNG. Gash what are you going for? Earth power? That's fair game. So he ends up taking out the Sneasel here. We still have Metagross, which is great news. We still have Metagross. I mean Grass Guide into the Gash is probably the play. I think we gotta do that at this point. Even though there is a chance that you can go for close combat. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna protect my, uh... I'm just gonna protect my Metagross and then just go for a Grassy Glide here. Even though there is a hot shot at him protecting here. Let's give it a go. Please don't protect, Gashadon. Please don't protect. I should've read it this turn now. I think he's gonna protect or Terrasalize. Hopefully a grass guy comes in hot here. So far, just a protect on my end. We get off this grass guide? We are. That's gorgeous. Grass guy gonna send Gashon away. That's big time. I think he is gonna close combat my Metagross down. Let's see. Actually, you might not even have it. No, you, I don't think you have close combat. Dire Claw gonna finish us off. And now we're just sitting here. So losing Miss Magius that early really is just... Terrible for us. I mean, I got EQ to finish off this Sneasel, which is good. I doubt it terrestrializes. And we'll see who their final Pokemon is. Let's see what you got. Typhlosion. Oh, no. Yeah, we're dead. 
we're dead. Unless I'm able to soak this and then just get this weakness policy EQ off. That would be the only way. It's the legit our only way. So let's see what he goes for. But chances are we're dead. Chances are we're just dead here. Let's, you might not have close combat. I don't think you have close combat. It seems like you have Acrobatic, Dire Claw. Um, what was your other move? Use something else. Which I totally forget. But I don't think you have close combat. But the Fire Tower coming out here pretty much tells me this game is over. Typhoid is just going to do its work. And you do have close combat. Surprised you didn't use it the first turn. The close combat doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Typhoid is going to go next. And he's going to erupt. Game over. Game over. Thanks for playing, Jeans. That one hurts. I really do think if we had Miss Magus not asleep, that we would have had a bigger chance at winning this match. But it is what it is. We're sitting one and one. Let's go hop through a third. Look for that winning record. Moving on to our final match. Looking to grab ourselves a nice little winning record with Miss Magus. I definitely want it in this matchup. They're rocking out with Ndidi in its male form. They also have Dragonite. They got Sneasler. They got his suing Typhlosion, which is a massive threat. And then they got Wimscott and Annihilate. So very strong team here. Gotta watch out for a few different options. Hmm. What do I want here? I want a drink. That's what I want. I want to take a sip of my water. But from a Pokemon standpoint, I want... I'm thinking Frigograph Metagross here. Not too bad. I mean, I'm kind of scared of that Hisuian Typhlosion and Whimsicott lead. So, I mean, I could just go like Primarina and try to like start to like Combine Boost. That's not a bad option for us. Um, and I think I honestly would rather do that. Or I could go Unburden Sneasel. Burden Sneasel. That thing cooks. But they could lead in DD. You know what? We're going into Unburden Sneasel. That's going to be our lead. We'll bring Miss Maggie's in the back end alongside Primarina. I think we have a shot at winning this match. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. I feel like we would have won that last match too. Miss Maggie's. We pulled it out at the perfect time. Dodge fake out. Ate up a Dire Claw. No problem because it, it resisted it. And then, uh,. You know, nice little sleep, and we lost a turn because of that, and we were icy winning the next turn. And that turn would have been huge just to slow down the field. Would have been so big, especially slowing down that Sneasler. Would have been amazing. Would have been perfect. But look at that, Gulpin as its a nice little profile picture. Gulpin's just a funny Pokemon. It really is. They're going to end up going Whimsicott and Annihilate, which, not bad. They could go for the beat-up combo with Rage Fist. I mean, I could fake out the Whimsicott, but... I'm honestly just going to make a read here that this thing's Cobra Cloak, and I'm not even going to touch it. I think that's our play. I don't, I don't think we touch that thing. I think we just let it be. I think we just let that thing be. So instead, I'm going to send a Wood Hammer into the Annihilate slot. And on top of that, we could just go for Third Chop. I could end up just, like, protecting this thing. You know, we're just going to Dire Claws from Scott. We're going we're gonna to force it to kind of either do one thing or another. Go for Beat Up or go for Tailwind. You got options here. You could go for bulk up. Bulk up could get a little scary here. I mean, I got I got a few good special attackers in the back end to kind of deal some damage to that that bad boy. But let's see what you got. Cause I got Dire Claw. I think you are Cover Cloak, and I'm really gonna hope that you're actually Cover Cloak because I don't want you to be Focus Ash. Focus Ash could get ugly. I just want to Dire Claw, hit it, KO it, leave it alone, be done with that. He's gonna end up dropping a Tailwind, which is fine. Which is definitely fine. He's going to go for the bulk up play. The defensive boost is going to go crazy, especially with this wood hammer flying in here. And we're going to launch Dire Claw. So, Dire Claw, I'm going to say bye bye to you. I'm guessing you were Covert Cloak. That's good. That's good. We get rid of you. And we're going to drop a wood hammer. Just give me a crit roll, boom. We'll make life easy here. Just give me a crit. Make everything easy. That did some damage. That did some damage. That did some damage. He's probably looking to go for Drain Punch now. He bulked up. Just get back some HP. Um, I could double down into it. I could indeed double down into it. He could go for another bulk up. Let's see what he throws out. It's gonna be indeed. So this could easily be follow me, or it can easily be expanded force. And there's a hot shot that it is gonna be expanded force. And you're kind of posing a big time threat to me, so I'm honestly just gonna go. There, and I'm going to Terrasilize here, and I'm just going to double down into this Indeed. I'm doubling down. We'll deal with Annihilate, but I feel like this Indeed by itself is just a huge threat. Especially to my whole team. Because again, I feel like we can deal with this, uh... 
this annihilate. But especially if we can KO and DD here, I can maybe just pop a Parasol and try to waste out some turns. But we're gonna see a Terra type pop out here. Who you got cooking here? It's gonna be Indeedy. Is it Psychic? It is Psychic. All right. So it's looking to pop Expanded Forces here. We are gonna go into the Dark Terra on our Sneezer slot. We're really hoping Drain Punch isn't flying in the Sneezer slot because that can get that can get real ugly. But I don't think it would be. Actually, it could be. I don't know. Let's see. So Dark Terra popping out, canceling out their Expanded Forces. It will not affect us. But Sneezer might outspeed us annihilate, but it actually might outspeed everybody. No, it doesn't outspeed you. Does it outspeed the, uh, the Annihilate? I really hope it does. And can you soak this Rollaboom? Probably not. It does. Oh, that's beautiful. He's gonna go for another bulk up. That's fine. Go ahead, bulk your stats. Bulk your stats and we'll say bye-bye to this Ndidi. So throw a chop launching. Bye-bye to you. And honestly, knockoff slides over to Annihilate, which is great news because I get rid of its uh, leftovers. I'm so for that. So bye bye Indeedy. So all these Pokemon are gone. I would I really want to get out Miss Magius here. And just pop a Parasong and look to just finish this game off, right? Because they're down to two Pokemon. They're down to two Pokemon and they can just like send all these shots. They're gonna go into Typhlosion. Oh Typhlosion, you're annoying. How many turns left in Tailwind? What we got cooking in Tailwind? Two. This is rough news for us. I'll go for knockoff in that slot. I'm just gonna protect here. Protect my sneezy. We know they're looking to go for drain punch in this slot. I miss Magus. I have Primarina. I have Focus Ash still. Shadow Ball gonna launch. Drain Punch is going to follow through. Yeah, we have to pop Parasol. If we want to win this game, we have to Parasol. I mean, I could Shadow Ball instead of Focus Ash. Honestly, I think Shadow Ball is going to be your play. They don't have Terra. They really want to Drain Punch me. The thing is with Parasol right now. The thing is with Parasol. It's like, if we send it... I can't waste out three turns. I cannot sit here and waste out those turns. So who do I attack here? You're going to get back a lot of HP. You really are. Um, You're going to bring me down. You're going to bring me... This thing's going to... And I'm just going to drain punch my Sneasel and probably KO it. You're going to KO... I got I to gotta attack you. That's the problem. I have to hope that I can KO you. I have to hope that I can KO because there's a chance that this thing is choice scarfed. There is a thing. There's a chance here. So I'm going to hope that I can just sash up here, right? This, this is my whole thought process. I'm thinking I can sash up here. He's going to drain punch KO me. Get back all that HP. I'm hoping I can KO this Sneasler. Or not Sneasler. KO this Typhlosion with the shot. And then one shot the uh, Annihilate. That's really where I'm at. That's the whole. That's how I got to win this game. And it's Magius. Down to the wire. Can you get the job done? Stab super effective Shadow Ball. There's one. There's one. There's one. I know you're outspeeding this Pokemon. And the bulk ups don't matter. Tailwind's gone. I know you're outspeeding. And I still have Primarina. I totally forgot I had Primarina. Wow, I made this a lot harder for me. But Miss Magius might have been able to solo this. I totally forgot I had Primarina. I really did. But now I can just go into a Shadow Ball. And I can follow through with a Moon Blast. And that should be game. Should be able to wrap this one up. I think Shadow Ball was KO'ing regardless. I really forgot about my Primarina. But ooh, we would have lost without Primarina. We would have lost without Primarina. So good thing I did have Primarina. Good thing I did. Rage Fist gonna fly. Sacrifice a shot, and I can just outspeed and send another Shadow Ball. Good thing I had Primarina. I forgot about that. Good thing I forgot. So Shadow Ball is gonna launch here. Honestly, I could have wasted out Parasong turns if I remember we had Primarina, because I would have just protected that turn. Everything would have been chilling. But no problem. Miss Maggie is so showing off his strong special attacking set. We pick up final two KOs here in match number three. And we take ourselves to a 2-1 winning record.
Miss Magius going crazy in ranked regulation age. I loved everything about this Pokemon from the Parasongs to the Shadow Balls. It does great special attack and damage. Plus, again, Parasong is just such a clutch move, especially up against Pokemon like Don Dozo, like you've seen in match number one, and end game, late game, when they cannot swap. You just set up a Parasong, and it pretty much just becomes a win button. You just press it, you're just like, all right, now I just gotta waste out turns, and we win the game, no problem. So, this Pokemon, again, a lot of fun. I'm glad we were able to grab ourselves a winning record with it. But, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.